Good evening, folks. How is everybody? Hey, I have to apologize to the beer truck I stuck at the Montgomery Gate, so I knew that was going to happen. Boy, November in Georgia, huh? Ain't this, ain't this nice? No better, I just would have worn t-shirt and shorts, but you wouldn't want to see me in shorts, so. Yeah, it's been done. The glare. <laughs> Another pasty Minnesota. <laughs> Welcome everybody to Friday Foolishness at the Kelly Porch. And today we have uh, Brian Olson as our guest star. Nice hand for Brian. <laughs> We're going to feature him today and play in several songs. First one is an old blues tune called uh, Sweet Home Chicago. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Gypsy Jazz Group, but uh, this kind of song was always kind of fun for us to do, doing our remote stuff way back in the incarceration days here at Crestman. Yeah. So we're all locked so, up, so. <laughs> if you weren't here during the uh, early part of COVID, there was no music going on. That's how this concert started, was that uh, there was nothing happening, and so we started playing on the porch so people could bring chairs and the concert only lasted 25 minutes because that's all that your bladder would hold and people wouldn't let you in their house to pee. But also during that time, Brian and I 
made several little videos. He would make a video of a tune and send it to me and I would listen to it and play along with it and send it back to him. And we posted those once a week. That was kind of our entertainment gift to Crestwin. And this is one of those songs called Lost in Translation. And I'm gonna do this about dumb. So people say it's better to love and to lose. But love and love get it all. But tell the two the fellow with the broken heart and he's bound to break your arm. And it's a good Well, you don't have to tell them if it's wrong or right, yeah. Like a dog or a cat sitting looking at the moon, don't provoke him or he may bite. And it's a group to say I'm so red. And it hoists to say it's okay. And it's me to say there's plenty of fish in the sea. So let the boom man drink his whiskey. Tell it to the fellow with a broken heart and he's bound to break your arm. And it's a proof to say I'm sorry. And it hurts to say it's okay. And it's mean to say there's plenty of fish in the sea. So let the boom man drink his whiskey. Send it, John. The love to lose, they never have loved at all. With a broken heart, he's sure to break your arm. Cool, say I'm sorry, and it's good to say it's okay. But it's me to say this fish in the sea. So let the poor man drink his whiskey. It's wrong. I tell you, me, if it's right. Like a dog with a bone sitting house in the moon Provoking him by fire It's cruel to say I'm sorry And it hurts to say it's okay It's good to say that the station is seen So let the poor man, let the poor man Let the poor man drink his whiskey Lost in translation. Yeah, love will break your heart every each and every time. Um, Brian's got a song here that I guess everybody heard first from the Kingston Trio. And we used to call it when we did the uh, isolation recording. We called this uh, Scotch and Isolation Soda. <laughs> now we do Scotch and Front Porch Soda or whatever you happen to be. <laughs>
do I feel high? People won't believe me. They'll think that I'm just bragging that I could feel the way I do and still be on. Sunshine up your eyes, oh me, oh my. Do I feel higher than a cat can fly? Give me love, and oh baby, do I feel several scotches we really start really start sound good <laughs> three or four people are just saying well those guys are great well you know one of uh, we're gonna have a little geography um lesson uh, way back in the day before the interstates and all that stuff uh there was kind of a little famous uh, piece of road in fact back in the day when i was living in arizona for a while i had a corvette and i i took it and i said i'm going to go on this road i've got to do it in a corvette and i did it's about a little road called route 66. One, two, three, four. If you have a plan to motor the west, take the highway, highway that is best. Get your kicks on Route 66. You go down through St. Louis, Joplin, Missouri, Oklahoma City is my pretty sea. Amarillo, a gallop, New Mexico, Flagstaff, Arizona, don't forget Winona, Kingman, Boston, San Bernardino, we do. Hope you get hit to this time, we do. When you take it.
Blue Edge, Joplin, Missouri, Oklahoma City is mighty pretty sea. Amarillo, Gallup, New Mexico, Flagstaff, Arizona, don't forget Winona, Kidman, Boston, San Bernardino, we do. Hope you get hit to this time later. song for you now that is a mix-up of songs, mash-up of songs. Is that what they call a mash-up? Well, I, I know this is a question that a lot of people have asked uh, over the years, is um, what would have happened if Linus and Lucy had been Sonny and Cher? You might think about that for a minute. So this might have, what might not have happened? <laughs> on this. Heavenly sounds 
for us for I guess summertime's over but you still see people going to the pool I guess and that are long and tall yeah and tan and it's a girl from Crosswind <laughs> I uh, kind of had some fun with the words here and I think there's some inside jokes here <laughs> especially if you're from Crosswind <laughs> When she goes a walking and when she passes each one she passes goes up. When she walks, she's like a song and swings and sways to the music. And when she passes each one she passes goes up. I said, Oh. Oh, I watch her so sadly. Oh, how I can't tell her I love her. Yes, I would give her my father gladly. But each day when she walks to the clubhouse, she looks straight ahead, not at me. Who all has a fob? 
Do you all wish you had your hour back? I'm not blue one. Hey, a real, real quick tip with the, uh, the time change. Um, at 2 a.m. on Sunday, you got to turn your clocks back. If anybody has a clock, that actually means turning back. 2 a.m. Sunday. Don't tell anybody, but we set our clocks back on Saturday night. Nobody's ever got us. So. <laughs> As for your car clock, don't worry about it. Just do the math. It's only and, six months. Yeah, I mean, you know, and the, the main thing, this is the important thing to remember. Uh, the days will be seven, I mean, the weeks will be seven days long, and each day will be 24 hours long. So don't, don't, don't forget that part. So why are we, why are we doing this daylight savings time? I don't, I don't know. So... So it was Halloween this week, and, and for those of you who haven't seen me since I learned a new joke, I will tell you my Halloween joke. It's a little late, but I told this to the boys I was playing music with this afternoon, and, and they said that um, he was home, and his son and his girlfriend came in. They had dressed for Halloween. They're high school kids, and uh, they were both dressed as ghosts, and he was so happy to have this joke to tell them. So the joke is, why don't monsters eat ghosts? Oh, boy. The answer is, they taste like sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect time to know that joke. John's here all week, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Here's a favorite. This was from the, uh, the Ute Smash uh, musical a long time ago called Porgy and Bess. It's about a season that uh, we just uh, left behind us. Uh, so maybe back now. Yeah, this is this is summer. Well, it's summer in a lot of places in the world. This is this is chilly fall in Colorado, so, or in uh, my Colorado living still in my head here. Summertime. Baby 
Was freezing cold last week, freezing cold last night, and we're all sunburned today, so yeah. who knows? But it is that time in our program. Sing along with us. You take the C in an R and D S S W I N D U S Sparkles Wind. the blues with us. November 8th, the ukulele club is starting a beginning ukulele class. Kim Miller is going to teach. Uh, there was an announcement yesterday in the update. There'll be one next week. But if you're interested in playing a ukulele, um, sign up for this class. We have ukuleles in the club library that we can lend you while you're learning and uh, see if you like it. And if you just want to come see what happens, come up Monday at 11 o'clock in the kitchen, and there's about 20 people that get together and play. We all have the words and music, so just sit down next to somebody and sing with them and see if this looks like fun. We would love to have you all come. You all have a wonderful day, wonderful weekend. Looks like a great fall weekend. And we will see you next week with Mike Sherman. Another hand for Brian Olson. Thanks, folks. It's been fun. Enjoy it. I don't think we could have done better if we knew what we were doing. I know.